Hey everyone, in this video I will show you that how to integrate DeepSeq R1 with the Rook line. As you know the Rook line is the better version of client and it is an VS Code extension. So go to this extension marketplace and install this uh, Rook line and after that go to this website. This is the website like platform.deepseq.com and slash API keys. Okay, and click on this create new API key and here give you a name. So I am giving my channel name code digit okay and click on this create api key okay so if i click on this here you see that i got a api key so just copy this api key now go to your uh, this extension rook line so i am opening this and here you see that there is a settings option click on the settings and here you will uh, find a configuration profile so here click on this plus icon and here uh, it, it will create a configuration profile you can edit this so i will edit this as a deep seek r1 okay and uh, deep seek r1 and now click on this uh, save so now here in this api provider select this deep seek and here in this deep seek api key just paste that api key that you have copied okay so i have copied this uh, or i have got this api key and i am pasting the same here okay and now here in this model section here you see that uh, there is two option one is the deep seek chat and deep seek reasoner so deep seek chat is basically the base model which is deep seek v3 and deep seek reasoner is the model which is for the deep seek r1 okay so as we are interested for this deep seek reasoner or deep seek r1 so i will choose this deep seek reasoner just now click on this done okay now you are good to go to use this uh, deep seek r1 now here there is another thing that when you are working with this rook line you please take the advantage of this uh, structure here follow my cursor okay here on the left hand side below you will find a code architecture ask this um, uh, this drop down okay so here select the architect why architect because when you are building an app just uh, make the architecture first okay otherwise you will not get the best output so that's why rook line is better than the client i always recommend this okay now what i will do i will build a website okay and now what website i have already that prompt so i will build a habit tracker website so i will paste it here okay you see that in this drop down i have selected this deep seek r1 okay so the model that i have uh, configured now press enter and here you see that i have got this uh, architecture and what architecture i have got uh, this is the front end architecture here you see that what file uh, we require and uh, this is the data model the database and this key component that calendar grid and strict system stats dashboard okay these are the things that we require for to build this habit tracker website okay and uh, also all of these things and another thing you see that the it has given this api cost also total api cost is you see that 0 0.0135 dollar which is very much very much less than the open ai so if i show you the open ai uh, api cost here you see that for this gpt for o uh, the cost is around uh, 2.5 dollar per 1 million input token but um, here you see that for this deep seek the price is uh, 0.014 means it is very much less than 1 dollar okay for this 1 million input token but we are getting the same output as of open ai because in this video i have already discussed in detail uh, the deep seek r1 uh, basics and what are the things in deep seek r1 the full comparison with the open ai a1 okay so if you have not watched this video till now please watch this i will give this link in the i button this is the best explanation video video over the youtube please don't forget to watch this video okay now uh, what i'll do that um, i'll go to here now what i'll do that i will change my uh, this drop down from architect to code because now I have the architecture and now I will write it uh, that write the code okay write the code for me okay now if I press enter it will give me the code so I hope you got the point that uh, 
how to use this deep seek r1 with this um, rook line now another that is another thing that you have to remember if uh, when you are uh, doing this api call you have to pay the money so otherwise they will not allow you, allow you. okay so just add uh, this any dollar like two dollar five dollar ten dollar so just add this dollar in your account okay as you have seen that uh, it is only costing uh, very much less for this 1 million input token so i think this uh, 10 dollar is enough for your work okay for your daily purpose work or monthly work is 10 dollar is enough okay and uh, no. so just go to this top up option uh, on the left hand side and click on this um, next step and this amount will be added to your account and you will find that under this billing here you see that i have added two dollar and i got this success mm. after that only you will be able to access this uh, deep seek r1 api remember this thing so i think you got the whole things and another thing is that if you want to use this deep seek r1 for free and you want to use this uh, for free with this rook with this rook line also uh, then just let me know in the comment section because deep seek r1 also has published some distilled model and i have already discussed about this distilled model in detail in this video okay so that distilled models are free and uh, that also has some more capability um, so you can use the distilled model for free in this uh, rook line okay so i will make a separate video on that if you comment down below now i want to conclude this video here if you found this video helpful guys don't forget to uh, like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel see you in the next video thanks for watching